reasons why you should watch Doctor Who. Uh, reason one, because it's epic, of course. Uh, reason two, because there's no other show like it. There really isn't a single other show like it. Um, because it's famous, it's known worldwide now, thanks to Matt Smith and Stephen Moffat filming globally in American places. Um, of course, because it's 50 years old. Um, it's written well sometimes, yeah, most of it's written well. Uh, because there's Alien Planets. Uh, that was reason six. Reason seven, it has good special effects sometimes, like um, the vortex and stuff. And when they're in space. Um, reason eight, the companion is fit. No doubt about it, the companion has to be hot. Take Jenna Coleman, for example. Anyway, we're losing off track. Um, reason nine, the doctor's an alien. Reason ten, the monsters are scary, sometimes. The, the rain to be scary. Um, eleven, reason eleven, it can be funny. Reason 12, the TARDIS is bigger on the inside, which is the Doctor's time machine. Um, 13, the Doctor's smart and the Companion's not really that smart. Not the Companion. Companion, should I say. Um, 14, the characters can die and come back to life sometimes, like Captain Jack. Um, it's entertaining. It's a great way to spend a Saturday night. Um, reason 17, the Doctor can travel in space, the Doctor can regenerate, that's reason 18, the Doctor can regenerate. Uh, reason, uh, reason 19, actors have played the same character, 11 actors have played the same character in fact. Yep, yeah, I'm not going to list all 11, um, I can't bother. Uh, reason 20, anything is possible. Reason 21, because it's awesome. Reason 22, it has a good history. Um, reason 23, 23rd November 1963. Um, anybody can be in it. Um, reason 24, it has good merchandise, like the figures and stuff. Um, reason 25, it has good actors in it, like Jenna Coleman. Reason 26, uh, some lines are easy to remember, like Good men are forged in fire. Like that. Um, they're just catchy lines. Uh, reason 27, the monsters are very well designed, like the Daleks. Uh, reason 28, the monsters' planets are very well named, like Gallifrey and stuff, um, which is the Doctor's own planet. Reason 29, the Doctor can meet himself, as he does three times in the 50th. Uh, reason 30, the sets are designed well, like the TARDIS and stuff, to fit the Doctor. Uh, reason 31, the editing is quite good. Uh, reason 32, time travel is possible. Um, reason 33, the scariest monster is the Daleks. Um, reason 34, it can be sad at times, it really can. Um, like when companions die and stuff and when, when the Doctor regenerates. Uh, reason 35, it can give you ideas. Um, reason 36, the Doctor has a secret, which we don't know. Uh, reason 37, which I'm sure you're asking why it's called Doctor Who. Reason 37 is Doctor Who. Um, we don't know. Uh, reason 38, uh, it has good sound effects. Uh, reason 39, you can make Figure adventures on the series, um, yeah. Reason 40, the last 10. Uh, there are explosions, yeah, definitely, sometimes. In, well, there is in big episodes anyway. Um, reason 41, it is action-packed mostly, especially the 50th. Um, reason 42, the 50th anniversary is in two days. Uh, reason 43, the Doctor's married to River Song. Um, reason 44. The writer can shock us. Um, Stephen Moffat, the showrunner and head writer at Doctor Who, can shock us sometimes. Um, reason 45. The finale is always epic, mostly. Uh, 46. 
Um, Peter Capaldi is the 12th Doctor. Now, some people don't like it because they say he's too old. You know, um, reason 47, the Doctor has a sonic screwdriver, which um, he can unlock doors with and stuff. Yeah, and he can decode stuff. Uh, reason 48, they can have guns. Like, River Song has guns, the Brigadier has guns. Yeah. Um, reason 49, it is mostly about the Earth being invaded by aliens. And reason 50, we don't know what the future holds. The future of Doctor Who could hold anything. It could hold all the all eleven Doctors coming to one, and the show could end in the show could end next year. But Stephen Moffat's doing the summer after Pete Capaldi regenerate. Well, after the thirteenth Doctor regenerates, so whether the thirteenth incarnation will be, he's going to do some and tie it all up so that um, well, no, that'll be the end of Doctor then. Yeah, no, so he'll, he'll, he'll find a way. But I think he'll probably be, uh, during the Time War, he takes all the Time Lord's regenerations and he takes them for himself, so he has unlimited regenerations. So, yeah, uh, don't forget to watch An Adventure in Time and Space tonight. I'm going to watch it. Uh, comment on this video if you're watching this after An Adventure in Time and Space or if you're watching it beforehand. Um, if you're watching it before it, tell me, what you, tell me whether you're watching it or not. Um, and if you have watched it and then you're watching this video, um, comment in the comments below um, whether you enjoyed it or not. Um, yeah, please do. Um, so, I'm going to go over there now and um, yeah, goodbye. Ow!